Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. <clears throat> My voice. So here is the uh, eye look that we're going to be doing today. Very rainbow. I wanted to do a rainbow look, something bright and colorful for no reason at all. Just I just wanted to. So I like the way my hair looks on the side, but I need it in the back because it's hot. Um, yeah, this is the look we're going for. I want to do something bright for no reason, you know. Uh, did some red brows today. Uh, yeah, nothing too fancy about it. Um, I don't have specific shades because I used a mixture of four palettes. So I'll just let you know in the intro, I used um, a shade from the Take Me To Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics as well as the Take Me Back To Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics. I used some shades there. Um, I used a shade from the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. I also used some shades from the NYX Ultimate Palette. All of these are rainbow palettes. Stay tuned. I am going to have a... Uh, these are like my favorite rainbow palettes. And so I'm going to kind of talk about those. Do a, look, a little review video on them. Um, to give you some recommendations and things. But yeah, just the colors of the rainbow. Orange, yellow, pink, red, blue, green, purple type of thing. So whatever you have, you can use it. I just refer to them by colors in the voiceover. Oh, God. That's it. Uh, if you want to know how we got this rainbow cut crease situation. Just keep watching. All right, y'all, here we go. We are priming these lids with some Urban Decay Primer Potion um, on the top and the bottom of the lids. And then I'm gonna put a white base down. This is ColourPop's Cream Gel Liner uh, in the shade Exit. All the products will be listed down below too, by the way. I'm gonna blend this out. This sets really fast. Remember, it's a gel liner, not a base, so. So it looks a little wonky, but I am setting it down as best as I can on the top and the bottom. And I always clean up as I go with, with looks like this. I'm setting it with some white shadow. This is my LA Colors Matte White Shadow that I love. And now we're ready for color. So I'm starting with yellow. Um, as I said in the intro, as I said in the intro, there is various palettes I'm using, so I'm just calling them by color. I'm gonna go ahead, starting in the inner corner, I'm gonna go into the yellow, and then I'm gonna go into the orange. My orange did not wanna stick to my eye for some reason, on both eyes, so I had to dab a little bit more white. Uh, um, dab a little bit more white base in the area where I was putting the orange. It happens. So, and I just go back and forth with my colors to blend them to make sure they're nice. Layer, layer the yellow, layer the orange, layer the yellow, layer the orange. Again, I had to put some white down just to really get that orange to pop a little bit more. And so that's all that I'm doing here and dancing and singing to music. So I said voiceover. Uh, then I'm going into my pink shade. Uh, it's a bright fuchsia pink. I thought that would go nice blending with the orange. And so I'm going to go ahead and I go back and forth. You see how I touch back and forth, um, blending a little bit. That was kind of a harsh line. And that's how we do it. And then on the bottom part, or the corner, outer part, we're adding red. And so that is the gradient for the top part of the crease part, if you will, however you want to put it. So now I'm going to cut this crease with some NARS Soft Matte Concealer. Uh, that's kind of what it looks like once it's cut. I kind of used a lighter concealer. I didn't think about it, but eh. now I'm going into like a light blue, a light blue teal situation. That's what I decided to do first before I go into like true blue, if you will. So yeah, I kind of layered these two blues just to give an, a better gradient of blue. Uh, on my eyes, I think blue gradients are really pretty. I didn't just want to go blue. I don't know. Just wanted to do two blues. Yeah, no. So this is the true blue now that I'm putting on. And again, the same concept with the uh, lighter colors, the warmer colors. On the top, you just, this part, I just have to be, it's like coloring inside the lines almost. I need to place them down really nicely to keep that shape of the crease there, um, the cut crease there. But you see, we're working it out. We have our green down, and then we're going to put our purple down. And I always look at the other eye for reference. In real life, I do both eyes together. I don't do one eye and then the other eye, but in filming life, I do one whole eye just so we have a reference point as we're doing a video, especially something that's complicated and like, not traditional, if you will, as this, so it, it, you know. Anyway, I'm gonna place my tape down for some wing liner. I'm gonna use a brush with a cream gel liner from Tarte, uh, because a liquid liner, I don't know, I just feel like I got a sharper line this way with my tape, as I always go out of frame when I do my wing liner, and I apologize, I tried, tried a little bit better to stay in frame. I'll get it one day. Anyway, um, I left this part in so you can kind of see. I bumped my liner, and so I'm taking some shadow and uh, covering that up. 
because mistakes do happen. Mistakes happen a lot when I'm filming and things like that. It just, oh, it, yeah, it's, it's just one of those things. And so, <clears throat> I left all done. I'm putting my lashes, I'm sorry, I'm putting my glue on my false lashes here. Taking those down, getting ready, peeling off my tape, you know, check the sharpness of that wing. We're going to curl our lashes and I'm putting on some L'Oreal Voluminous E-Line mascara um, it'll be listed below again and getting those ready for lashes I'm gonna put a black liner on this because I like what the rainbow looks I like to be anchored with the black I think that looks really pretty bright colorful eyeshadow and a sharp black wing or a nice black liner also especially I want to wear some thick dramatic lashes with this look and so black liner definitely hides that and I'm gonna put the same color combination on my lower lash line underneath the black kind of smudged in with it as I did in the cut crease area the blue green gradient blue green purple situation and those are the eyes with the red brows so for my face, I'm going into my Milani face oil, uh, my rose oil. I've really been enjoying that. And I'm going to prime with some Peter, Top Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For Mattifying Pore Minimizing Primer. I'm using two foundations, the NARS Matte Velvet Skin Tint and the Black Up Cream Foundation. No reason, just they're in my collection. I haven't used them in a while. I mixed them two together to use two at once, honestly. That's why I did it. I've never done that before. Just, I have a lot of makeup and I like to use it. So I am blending this all over, down the neck, around the ears. I don't put foundation on my ears, sorry. I just, I can't. Too many piercings and it's gross and all that. So, anyway. I'm going ahead and I'm blending out this foundation. It, this combination is really nice, really pretty, really matte. <laughs> so if you want to try it, you own those two, go ahead. I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape to highlight under the eyes as Nelson walks in and he's dancing and some whatever song that was on. Um, and I am blending this out underneath of my eyes and down my center of my face. You know, my normal highlight situation was a beauty, beauty, bleh, beauty blender y'all know y'all know um i did not bake this look we are gonna set it though with some black radiant soft focus finishing powder in the shade golden almond finish which is my light yellowy uh shade of powder this is a pressed powder not a loose one and then i'm going ahead and blending all that out and giving my face back some dimension with my uh, black Radiant Soft Focus Finishing Powder in the shade Milk Chocolate Finish. All right, and I'm going to contour with my Nika K Contour Kit. Uh, I don't have a shade name on it. Someone asked me. I can read you the numbers on the back, but there's no shade name. Because I can't find it. And I could have easily, like, ripped it off or something. And my MAC Raisin Blush. This is a go-to with any look. If I'm kind of quite confused. If I'm kind of confused as to what look will go with it. With, a, with what blush will go with the eye look, I, I go with the matte raisin. It just works for me. And then my highlighter is the Nika K Inca Highlighter in the sh I'm sorry, my Nika K Highlighter in the shade Inca. I left this in for the sake of talking. <laughs> Lifting up to get my lip, my lippy. Um, I spray with some Fix Plus, and I'm going to do a black lip, because again, I love a rainbow anchored in some black. I think that's beautiful. So I went ahead and lined my lips. I do not use lip liner every time I wear liquid lipstick. You should. It does help. Um, but for this black lip, I wanted to, to have more control and have a nice, sharp, defined lip. This is the NYX Black Ooh, black lip liner and then my LA Splash waterproof li liquid lip color in Venom. Take the bonnet off and we good to go. Love y'all. Bye.